the attack on the Twin Towers. That was well before the Iraq war. So there's no correlation here between foreign policy and this appalling act of terrorism. And that's where Jeremy Corbyn has gone wrong. Isn't it possible that things like the Iraq war did not create the problem of murderous Islamic fundamentalists? But the war has unquestionably sharpened the resentments felt by such people in this country and given them a new pretext. Well, I don't think you should uh, allow pretexts for people who blow up innocent children. Because those are actually not... the words of Boris Johnson, the Foreign Secretary. Well, they're not entitled to uh, excuses. You know, this was an act of murder and of callous murder at that, taking yep. the lives of innocent civilians. What I just put to you was not Jeremy Corbyn, it was Boris Johnson. Well, what were the words you were quoting? The Iraq war did not create the problem of murderous Islamic fundamentalists, though the war has unquestionably sharpened the resentments felt by such people in this country and given them a new pretext. He goes on to say the Iraq war did not introduce the poison into our bloodstream, but yes, the war did help to potentiate that poison. Well, That's exactly the same as what Jeremy Corbyn is saying now. No, I think it's more is, is, more is what he's saying that, um, of what I've said. He said you can't use attacks like this to explain away, uh, explain, explain away terrorism. Actually, on the contrary, he said it is difficult to deny that they have a point, the told you so brigade. Well, I don't agree with that. So Boris Johnson, the Foreign Secretary, is wrong? Well, I'd have to see the words that you're trying to quote to me. I don't have them in front of me. Well, I've just I'm told you them. Well, I'll have to look at them. I don't, uh, what I don't accept is that you can explain away terrorist attacks in this country by uh, simply saying uh, there's been an issue with uh, our foreign policy yeah. over the last few years. Well,